In this video, I am going to tell you how you can create beautiful custom headers using Elementor's new Flexbox containers. You will require the Elementor Pro access for this. I will also show you that how you can turn the header into a sticky header. Furthermore, I will also show you that how you can make your header responsive across different devices. Before we get started into this video, have a look at my channel. There I have number of videos related to Elementor and WordPress tutorials. Make sure to keep watching this entire video till the end to never miss a thing. Be sure to hit the subscribe button and don't forget to hit the bell icon to get the latest video updates. So without further ado, let's get started now. The first thing that you have to do is to log into your WordPress dashboard. And right here, if I go to this appearance tab, you can see I'm using the Hello Elementor theme. And in the plugins section, I'm using the Elementor and Elementor Pro. Before you start creating your header, the first thing that you have to do is to hover over Elementor and then go to settings. And then from here, click on these features. And from here, you will have to activate this Flexbox container. By default, you will see this as default, but you will have to choose this active and then you will have to click on this save changes. Once you will do that, the Flexbox container will get activated and now you will be able to start creating your webs, your header using the Flexbox containers. So for that, hover over this template and then click on this theme builder. So once you will click on this theme builder, click on this header. Right here you can see I already have one template created for the header. But let's just create another header in this template. So for that, I will click on this edit button. And you will just have to wait until the Elementor page builder will get loaded. And right here you can see the Elementor page builder is loaded now. So we will begin by creating this above header area right here. So for that, click on this plus icon and then choose this four column layout for the container. I'll choose this layout. I want to enable this navigator. So consider this container as the parent container and these containers as a child container. I want to include one more container here, so I'll duplicate this. And right here you can see we have five containers here. I wanted to include four items in these four containers, but first of all, let's just add a background color. So I'll go to this style tab, choose the parent container, and then I'll click on this background type. And then from here, I want to include one primary color. So this one is my primary color, the blue color. Now we can start by adding the elements inside of these child container. So from here, I want to include this phone number. So I'll search for icon list widget and I'll insert this icon list here. I want to get rid of these two items. I'll change the icon to the phone icon and I'll click on insert and then I'll copy this number from here and I'll paste this number right here. Now the icon is not visible because it is in the blue color. So I'll go to this icons and then I'll change its color to white. And for the text, I'll change its color to white as well. Now I'll copy this and I will duplicate this here or I'll paste this inside of this container. And this time I want to change the icon to envelope icon. And then I'll click on this insert. I'll copy this email address from here and then I'll paste this email address right here. Then I want to include one button right here. So I'll insert the button widget right here. The background color of the button is blue now. So I'll go to this style tab and I'll change its color to white. Now I'll change the text color to the primary color and right here you can see this is our button is looking. I'll add the border radius of 40 pixels to make it rounded and then I'll go to this content tab and I'll change the content to book and I test. Now for this button when I hover over the background color changes along with the text color but in our button it is not changing. For, for that, you, what you will have to do is to go to this style tab and then click on this hover. Click on this color and add a color. And then for the text color, I want to make it white. Now if I hover over, you can see that the background color is changing now. Here I want to include social media icons. So I'll search for social 
and I'll insert this widget right here. I'll go to the style tab and I will click on this custom and I want to make this primary color as the transparent color. Then I want to reduce the size to 20. I'll click on this content and then I'll duplicate this. I want to include one more icon that is for Instagram. And then I want to include one more icon and this one is going to be for Snapchat. All right. Now we have these items added, but the problem right here is that inside of this container, we do not have anything. And by default, it is taking all of this height. So in order to get rid of this problem, I'll use a spacer and I'll insert this spacer here and I'll make the height of this spacer as five pixels. Now you can see that the height of all of these child containers are the same. Now I want to click on this parent container and from here I'll go to this layout tab and from here I'll click on this align items and I'll choose center. Once I'll choose center you can see everything is centered and in in a line. Now I want to reduce the height or the spacing from top and the bottom. By default Elementor adds some padding so in order to get rid of that padding go to this advanced tab and click on this small chain icon and once you will do that all of these unnecessary padding will get removed and you will have this above header created. Now I want to create the main header. For that I will click on this add container and then I will choose this two column layout or you can say two container layout and then inside of this container I will copy this text and I will paste this and inside of this container I want to include a menu icon, a menu widget. So I'll drag this menu widget right here. Now I want to reduce the width of this first child container. For that I'll click on this child container. Right here you can see for now it is 50%. I'll make this one as 15% and for this second container I'll make this as 85%. Now I'll click on this WordPress menu widget or the menu widget and from the alignment I'll align it to the right side and then from the animation I'll make it grow and then we can go to this style tab and this is for the normal state normal state it is fine for the hover it is fine but for the active I want to hide the pointer so I'll make it transparent and for the text color I want to make it blue so now whenever someone will choose any of that page it will turn blue as active. I want to get rid of this header that I have created and then I'll click on this update button. So now let's just align these items. For that I'll click on this parent container and then from here the align items I'll align it in the center and it will align everything in the center. Now our header is created. The next thing is to make it responsive. For that click on this responsive mode and then click on this tablet portrait. On the tablet portrait you can see that it is not looking fine. So this is the first container. In the very first container I want to make it hide. So I'll hide this container both on the tablet devices and on the mobile devices. And also these social media icons I want to hide them from the tablet and the mobile devices. Now we are left with these three items. I'll click on this container here. And right here you can see for now the width of this container is 25%. I'll change its width to 33%. And for this container I'll change its width to 34%. And for this container I'll change the width of this container to 33%. Now if we check this you can see everything is aligned. Accept this button. So for this button, I'll click on this button. I'll go to this content tab and then I'll click on this right. What it will do, it will align the button towards the right side. Just like this. Now let's just fix this header here. First of all, let's just adjust the width. So I'll click on this container. For now it is 15%. Let's just increase that to 40%. And for this right container, let's just make this 60%. Now, let's align this hamburger. For that, click on this WordPress menu widget. Go to this content tab. 
and then right here you can see toggle align align this towards the right side and this will align this hamburger towards the right side now let's just change the color of this hamburger go to this style tab toggle button and change the background color to the blue color and for the color change it to white and that will change this color for the hover let's just change this to a different color so that when you hover over it will change the color now if i click on this hamburger you can see this is not looking right and this is expanding and expanding the container as well in order to fix this problem go to this content tab and from here you will see this option full width just simply toggle this on and it will fix your problem now i want to add a background color for this drop down menu so i'll go to this style tab and then for the drop down menu i'll change the background color to the blue color and i'll change the text color to the white color then for the hover i want to use a different color so i'll use different color just like this and for the active i'll use different color as well for the typography i'll just change the typography to text and i'll change the font size to 18 pixels and right here you can see this is how it is looking maybe we can reduce the font size to 16 pixels and now it is looking fine so if now if we preview it you can see this is how our header is looking let's just preview this on the mobile devices so on the mobile devices you can see it is looking like this and we'll need to fix this for the mobile devices i only want to display this button so i'll hide these numbers I'll go to this responsive tab and I'll hide this and then for this container as well I'll go to responsive and I'll hide this. For this button I want to align this button in the center on the mobile devices. So now if you look at this we only have this button here. If you want you can expand this button as well by clicking on this justified option and it will take the entire space of the container. Now let's just adjust the widths of this container and it will make it responsive so click on this container right here for now it is 100 percent we want to reduce it to 40 percent and for this container we want to reduce it to 60 percent and here you go now this is responsive as well this is the mobile version this is the tablet version and this right here is the desktop version i'll hit update and now if we go here and if i refresh we'll have the same header now i'll go back let me just show you that how you can make your header respond uh, sticky so in order to make your header sticky choose one container so i want to make this part right here sticky so i'll click on this container and then i'll go to this advanced tab and then i'll go to this motion effects and from this motion effects you can see this option that says sticky make it top and here you have the option to choose the devices so i want to have the sticky effect only on the desktop so i'll get rid of these two devices from here then here you have some other option that is offset and effect offset so for the effect of offset let's just choose the 50 pixels that means whenever someone will scroll 50 pixels on your website the header will become sticky that is it about the sticky header and by doing that your header will, header will be sticky now hit update and right here this is how you can create your simple header and a sticky header by using the elementor flexbox container in the elementor i hope you have learned something new from this video if you have learned something new from this video make sure to hit the subscribe button and make sure to hit the bell icon to get the latest video updates thank you very much i'll see you in the next video